So what happens with the Arabs is that in 570 uh, of the, the Christian era, a, a boy is born in Mecca to a mother who his father dies uh, prior to that, during her pregnancy, Amina. And this boy is named Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And during this time, uh, for the first few years of his life, he is sent to the desert, to the oral Arabs, to learn the language through this tradition of the Arabs in raising the aristocratic Arabs would send their children to the desert Arabs because they considered that they were the most eloquent Arabs. And they wanted the children to absorb the language within the first five years of their life. Because they recognized that children that were raised amongst these, uh, these people who spoke a very powerful Arabic would have also strong Arabic even if they spent the later portion of their life in the city. And so during this time, for the first 40 years of this man's life, really from all, if we look at it just in terms of a, a human life, very little uh, matters of significance occur in this man's life. By all intents and purposes, one would really say that had the Prophet not reached his 40th year, that he would have been known amongst his people perhaps for one thing only, which was that he was extremely trustworthy. He was a very quiet person, he did not speak much, he did not quote poetry, he was not a poet, he was not known to uh, engage in discourse with the people. He was a con uh, contemplative person, he liked to go off uh, and uh, reflect on his own, he was known to be extremely kind to uh, poor people, to orphans, this is all mentioned in the tradition. Other than that, he had no aspirations of being a leader within his people, as, as some people would. He was from an aristocratic clan, but he happened to be from a sub-grouping uh, within that clan that was on bad times, Beni Hashem.